back to my channel so in today's video as you guys have read by the title i'm just showing you how i keep my hair looking manageable how i maintain my hair throughout the week while us being in quarantine i know we're not really going anywhere but you still have to have your hair looking somewhat decent but if you guys are a little lazy it's okay because i can get like that too so if you guys want to see how i keep my hair looking presentable how i keep it maintained or just want to see a few hairstyles that i like to do to my hair then make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel first and let's just go ahead and hop right into this video so this is the start of my week in a week with my hair a week in my hair i don't really know how i'm going to title this video but this is just basically how i like to maintain my hair throughout the week especially while we're in quarantine because we can get a little lazy around this time so um this is just how i maintain my hair throughout the week just to keep it a little bit more manageable today is sunday april 12th it is easter happy easter i um washed my hair and i deep conditioned and i will put the products that i use down below i shampooed and conditioned with the um Aussie Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, you know, the little big containers. That's what I shampooed and conditioned my hair with. And then I just deep conditioned my hair with the um, Cantu Deep Conditioner. And then um, we're here. So this is what my hair is looking like to start off this video. Normally I just like to start off with wash and go. Lately my combination has been the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go and then a little bit of this Eco Styler just to um, make sure I have extra definition. But I have did a video on just using this product alone by itself and it does work well with my hair. But it just lasts longer with a gel, so that's what I like to do. So we are just about to do a regular wash and go and I'll probably put this in a fast pace because uh, like I said, I already have a video out on me just using that one product alone. So then show you guys with the gel and everything. Say hello, boo boo. Say hello. Oh, he's sad because he want to go outside, but it's raining. So, um, I'm just going to get started on my hair. Alright guys, so this is what my hair is looking like with just using um, this product right here. Like I said before, I do have a video on this. So I will link that down below. Let me put this show on you. But anyways, now I'm just going to add in this gel. And um, normally when I'm using a gel, I like to add in like right after I use whatever cream that I'm using. But um, today I just... Like when I use these two combinations, I just can't use a lot of this gel. Cause one, this is more of like the sleeking eco styler gel, not the type of eco styler gel that you just add in your hair as like styling it. That's more of like a sleeking gel on my hair. I'm just gonna add in like this much and I'm just gonna spritz it with some water. I'm just gonna put my hair to the side and I'm gonna use like the praying hand method towards the ends of my hair. And basically what it does, it just adds more definition to my hair. So I'm just gonna do that to this side. And basically what it does is it just adds that uh, extra hold to my curls and it just lets my hair last a lot longer. I just really like using this method a lot on my hair. But like that product alone, like that curling cream alone on my hair works really well. So for my front, I just like to take this front part and just use the praying method. Praying hair method and see how my hair like elongates in the front i just like to finger coil just so um it can have more definition in the front and if you guys aren't new to my channel you guys already know that i like to finger curl in the front and it just literally adds a lot more definition to the front of my hair which is what i love because that is the part that everyone is literally going to see so i just finger coil the front and then i kind of scrunch it up like as I go. Most of my pieces in the front actually curls up really nice when it's dry. I really don't do every single piece, but I try to like clump the ones that I know that's not really going to curl up the best. So this is just basically how I do my wash and goes. So now that I'm done finger pulling the pieces in the front, I'm just going to take my spray bottle and grab that front part and just spritz 
my front part a little bit then just kind of scrunch up so you have that extra definition because that's what we want and basically i'm done with my wash and go now i just like to use an edge control or like a gel or whatever but today i just decided to get an edge control since that's like the first thing that i see i'm just going to get some of this edge control and i like to sleep back my edges just so i won't get in the way of like um my hairs in the front because like my hairs in the front they like to just scatter out everywhere so i'm just taking that edge control and just slicking my hair bike because um, it just kind of sets my hair for how it's going to be for like today and probably tomorrow, you know. And then like when it dries down, it just dries down exactly like this. Yeah, so this is what my hair looks like for day one-ish, I guess, for like Sunday. Because this kind of starts, sets off the mood for my hair. And this just sets off how my hair is going to be the rest of this week. And this is what my hair is looking like. Alright, so now it's 8 o'clock and it only took me 30 minutes to really do my wash and go. Honestly, we cut down time on these wash and goes. I'm not trying to be here all day. So I'll come back to you guys later. I normally have been staying up like all night. So I'll just come back to you guys to show you guys what my hair looks like. And for my day one and like starting off my whole wash day, um, I like to let my hair air dry for the first day because it doesn't have a lot of frizz. It just lasts longer and it just looks great overall i'll just come back to you guys later just to show you guys what my hair looks like and then we'll move on to the rest of the week so this is my sunday hair all right guys so this is what my hair is looking like it is now 12 a.m it is midnight this is what my hair is looking like it is 90 percent dry the only part that is still like wet is like my middle section which that part takes like longer to dry um it's not wet but it's damp so just to let you guys know but um i'm just gonna wind it on down i'm gonna go to bed well i'm not going to sleep but you already know i'm just gonna like chill for the rest of the night so i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap my hair up i like to use the banding method just because it allows my hair to just stretch out and look fuller the next day it just allows me to use less heat when i um decide to use my blow dryer to stretch it out and stuff so it just allows me to have more volume and just stretch out my hair without using a lot of heat um i just like to take some of my scrunchies since this is like a new scrunchie I'm trying to stretch it out a little bit and so i just normally start from like my section that i have um parted like the scrunchie that i just stretched out and i go ahead and like band it to the end of my hair normally i just like to do like this part like this whole entire part and just leave the rest like curly because it allows it to just keep my curls but also stretches out my hair at the same time so i just basically do this around my head I do five sections so here's another section i like to do bigger sections for like the first day because it just allows my hair to have less frizz and then my hair is still technically drying in the middle so um i don't want a lot of frizz this is basically what i do is just like band them and then just leave the rest into like a little poof ball i guess all right guys so this is what my hair is looking like <laughs> this is just what i do and so now i'm just gonna take my bonnet and put it on my head and then I'm basically done, so I'll just come back to you guys tomorrow for Monday. So we are here on Monday. It is 6 o'clock. I just been having my bonnet on all day. And this is normally how it looks. So I'm just going to basically unravel these um, bands on my hair. And I'm just showing you guys. And I just basically do it one by one. I don't like pull it off of my hair because it can pull your hair out. So you don't want your hair to be gone while you're trying to take down your hair, okay? And I just kind of like separate it just so I can kind of get that, get those curls coming back together. Then I'm just going to do each side the same exact way, just unravel them. So this is what my hair is looking like when I took down all of my hair. I get laid down on the top and then just kind of fluffed out towards the ends. I'm going to take my wide tooth comb and just kind of go from the roots and just kind of fluff everything out and just make sure that everything just looks really nice. This part is kind of like spread it out so I'm just going to fluff it out. Grabbing some of my edge control and then I'm just going to put it on my edges.
I like to just play in my hair just to kind of get that shape that I want it to go. So this time I kind of want my hair going to the side instead of I just having like a bang, which I really do want some bangs, but I'm just kind of skeptical on cutting my own hair. So we just gonna wait on that. I'm just moving my hair to the side in the front. And this is basically my hair for Monday. I just let it just do whatever it wants to do. And this is just how I have my wash and go for Monday. All right, you guys, so this is what my hair looks like for day three. And honestly, this is kind of normal for my hair. It just gets really frizzy and really like volumized. So normally I would just refresh it, but today I honestly do not feel like doing that. I'm just going to take my spray bottle and put it up in a high puff. But first, um, usually I take like tea tree oil, but I'm really out of tea tree oil right now. So I'm just gonna use some of my coconut oil. I normally don't really use coconut oil for my scalp, but that's literally the only option we have at this point. I'm just gonna rub it in my hands, in the palms of my fingers. I'm gonna put it on my scalp just to give it some type of moisture on my scalp. I don't normally use coconut oil, so hopefully it works well on my scalp. I usually use it for like my hair when I'm taking down the twist out or something. I'm gonna take my spray bottle and just spray it around the perimeter of my hair. I like to use like a strong hold of like a cream first before I use my um, gel. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this Cream of Nature Curl Activator. The texture of the product is really like sticky. I just like to put this on the perimeter of my hair just to kind of protect it so I won't like be caked up with the gel. So I'm just gonna put this on the perimeter of my hair. I'm just gonna brush my hair in the back and just around. Just kind of brush it into the place where I want my hot puff to be. Now time for the gel. I'm just going to take my gel. I literally take like a small amount for the entire section, like my entire perimeter. And I just put a few little hand drops in the front and then slide it up on the back and then just brush it up. Now I'm just gonna take my band and just push it up. Just fluff out my hair. I want my hot puff to be a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna add in another band just to make sure that it's a lot tighter than what it is this is how my hair normally is for a high puff i do do my edges sometimes but today i just really don't even feel like doing it so i'm just going to add some oil on my edges and this is basically it for tuesday this is my hair for tuesday back and today is Wednesday this is what my hair is looking like and honestly I kept it like this all day so I didn't really record what I did in my hair just kind of the same thing as yesterday I didn't really do anything to my hair so I'm sitting down on my bed that's how I'm going lower and lower yeah so I didn't really do anything to my hair it is nine o'clock right now so I'm just gonna take down my hair to just change it up for tomorrow and once again I'm just gonna take some of my coconut oil and I'm just going to massage my scalp So now what I like to do normally is just put my hair up in a protective style for like two days because that's how long it normally lasts. So um, what I'm going to be doing is just braiding up my hair. I just like to do a side part because I, I just always do a side part. And I basically just part down the side and then down my ear. Basically what I just did is I part down the side and I parted down my ear. And I'm just going to part the same way down by my ear on this side. So we're going to start off with the smaller section because it's a lot easier. I want to add a little bit more oil to this side of my scalp. Just because it's going to be up in like a braid and in a protective style. I'm just going to take some water and just spritz this little area just a little bit. I'm just going to use the Moisture Miracle um, Curling Cream. I'm just going to take a little bit of that curling cream and just put it on my hair. I'm just going to detangle my hair just to make sure I don't have any tangles or knots or anything before I braid my hair. So now we're going to take some of our Eco Styler Gel. Let's put this on the perimeter of this section just to gel down our hair and make sure we don't have any flyaways. And just brush it down. I'm just going to braid my hair. All 
Alright, so I just basically braided this back and I just added it into this bun in the back. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to this section. Alright you guys, so I'm finished with both of my braids. So since the back is like really bushy and... Um, dry. I'm just gonna kind of refresh it. Not really like every single piece, but like, you know, lazier version of refreshing your hair. So, I'm just gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna add in some of this curling cream. Honestly, what I'm just gonna do is just put it in a ponytail anyway. So, it really doesn't really matter how it looks. Alright, and now I'm just gonna take my scrunchie and take my braids and just gather the hair up. And I'm gonna put it into a ponytail. And then just put it into like a messy bun in the back. And this is basically my hairstyle for um, tonight. Just braided down both sides and then a bun in the back. And this is just how I would normally wear my hair for like one to two days. And probably tomorrow I just let the back down. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So we're here for Thursday and this is what my hair is looking like. I just really took my hair down. Really, I just put it back in a bun. I just refreshed it this morning and I put it back in a bun. Um, so now I'm just going to basically twist up the back so it can be more defined for when I take it down tomorrow. The products I'm just going to be using is the same as yesterday, the Moisture Miracle from African Pride. what my hair looks like it's in some twist and i'm just going to take it out tomorrow so i'll show you guys that on friday what my hair is looking like for Friday this is like my favorite day hairstyle wise because my hair looks so good like these twists look really really good the oil that I used to like kind of take down my twist was this um, cream of nature anti-humidity gloss and shine mist honestly got tired of using my coconut oil so I just went ahead and found this misting spray that I rarely use yeah this is my Friday's hair and I will see you guys for the last day on Saturday <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what my hair is looking like for Saturday. Just put back in a sleek ponytail with some little edges. Tried my edges a little bit. Now, this is basically the end of how I would normally do my hair throughout the week. I pretty much have gotten a lot lazier than what my normal schedule is like when we're not in quarantine. But I still try to at least have my hair looking somewhat decent throughout the week and a little bit more manageable. I just basically... um. Just try to do the best that I can. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Comment down below one thing you like to do to keep your hair looking decent while in quarantine. Or if you're just pretty much all the way lazy, that's fine too. I get like that sometimes. If you guys have stayed all the way to the end, thank you guys so much for that. I feel like I have not made a video this long in forever. Thank you guys for sticking all the way to the end. And if you have not subscribed already, then please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And thank you guys most importantly for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ryan Little. <laughs>